What's up, Core Crew, and welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Courtney Janine, and I'm here with yet another video. And today's video is going to be a little bit different because I usually do vlogs, hauls on this channel. But today we're going to be talking about the Sephora VIB sale that's coming up, or the spring savings event. I think that's how they refer to it because they now have two different sales, one in the spring and one towards the holidays. So the holidays one is like the VIB sale, and then the spring is called the spring savings event. Super excited to tell you guys what I am planning to buy, what I have already have in my cart, some things that I recommend and more. So if you would like to see what I am going to be picking up from the Sephora sale, then definitely keep watching. And with that, let's get into today's video. All right, you guys, so today's video is mostly gonna be on the Sephora sale, but I did pick up some stuff from the Ulta Beauty 21 Days of Beauty. So I did wanna do a mini Ulta haul in the beginning of this video and let you guys know what else I'm planning to buy from the 21 Days of Beauty because I feel like Ulta does their 21 Days of Beauty before the Sephora sale so I like to be strategic on what I buy from Ulta and then I will kind of build my list for Sephora and another thing that I've noticed is that a lot of different specific brands like Fenty Beauty did their friends and fam sale that has a bit of a bigger sale or percentage off than compared to Sephora so always be a conscious shopper and make sure that if you're planning to buy something from Sephora make sure that there aren't other better deals <laughs> um, from the brands themselves or from Ulta or other retailers that you can get for a better deal at. So just make sure that you're a conscious shopper. I did want to let you guys know that, but I'm gonna go grab my Ulta bag and we're gonna talk about what I purchased from there. I just got a few things and I also am planning to buy some more things from Ulta throughout the 21 days of beauty. So one sec. All right, you guys, so this is my Ulta bag. Today's biggest deal for me was the Mac Fix Plus. So I did pick up two. I love this because it's like that perfect, I wouldn't say a setting spray but it's perfect for like prepping and priming the skin and I am someone who loves to spray my face in between each different step so I actually was planning to purchase the Rare Beauty setting spray which I love as like that sort of spray that I use in between each step but when I saw that these were on sale for $15 I picked up two I got the original fix plus and then I also got the lavender scent they also have a coconut I believe they have a cucumber but I really like the lavender and I love the original scent so I got one of each for the price of one. Yeah, I got two for the price of one. And then the only other thing that I got is because I needed some more brush cleanser, but I also needed one of the pads. So I just got the, the Real Techniques brush cleansing palette and it comes with like sample of the cleanser. So I wanted to get this in the meantime before the Sephora sale because I'm gonna pick up some more Cinema Secret. It's my favorite brush cleanser, but it's something that's, you know, for those days when you just need a quick cleanse, but I feel like when you really wanna get your brushes clean, you need a gel and like water, okay? So I picked this up and I'm probably going to get the full bottle once I run out of these like little sample packs of the gel. So yeah, had to get those. I almost got lashes, but then I was like, no, don't get no lashes, just wait. Cause I do want to get some lashes from Sephora. So I guess let's move into my empties. So I do have some empties, okay? These are things that I would definitely recommend that you purchase because I ran out of these and I'm definitely thinking about purchasing them again because they were just that good. So let me grab that bag, okay? So I mentioned this before but I absolutely love the Rare Beauty 4-in-1 Optimus Spray. Ran out of this. This is like my third or fourth bottle. I was going to pick it up but since I got the Mac Fix Plus on sale and got it two for one, I won't be picking this up but y'all I definitely recommend this. Like once I run out of my Fix Plus, definitely going to re-up on this because it's just that good. Next thing is another setting spray. This is one that I am going to pick up. Like I mentioned before, I love the Rare Beauty. I love the Mac Fix Plus as a setting spray or like a spray in between each step but to actually set my makeup, I love the one side mattifying waterproof setting spray. I see a lot of people compare this to Charlotte Tilbury or they use them together, but this one, I absolutely love. The Charlotte Tilbury was like an eh for me. The setting sprays in general, I just, I don't know, do they really work? Not sure, but this one, this one I know for sure it works. A lot of other ones, I'm just like, whatever, but this one, I have to re-up. This will definitely be in my cart, and I definitely suggest if you're someone who feels like setting spray is whatever, you need to try this one because I'm sure that this will change your mind about setting sprays. Okay, next up is a skincare product. I actually have already repurchased this, but I wanted to keep like this as like an empties. This is the Believe Aqua Balm Hydrating Toner. Y'all, my favorite toner today. This one just smells really good. It feels great on the skin. It's very hydrating, which I love. So I definitely already repurchased this. I didn't wait for the sale because y'all, I take my skin very seriously. She had to get repurchased before the sale came along, but I was trying to hold out. And if you are looking for a new 
skincare product or a new toner i would definitely suggest this one it smells really good it feels great on the skin and definitely still is hydrating even though it's a toner so the last two products are body care products this is the necessary body lotion love this as well as the necessary body serum love these i am thinking of repurchasing definitely the body lotion because i love to switch out my scents i am a girl who loves the more more gourmands or the vanillas but for those days that i want to venture out and try out my more fruity fragrances or my um citrus fragrances or my um fresh fragrances or woody more masculine fragrances i want something that's like a base lotion because i have other lotions but they're more like scented and this one is fragrance free which i love and then i love the body serum i actually am trying to use up the topical slather which is also a body serum so i'm not sure if i'm going to repurchase this yet because i'm still trying to make my way through the topicals one but i definitely like this one more i don't know i don't know if it's the aesthetics of the bottles i don't know but i definitely really love this one it just i don't know i guess it's the experience because i can't really tell you why it's better than the slather one but i would want to purchase this one again all right i went through what i purchased my recommendations out of my empties and now we're going to talk about what is in my current cart at sephora i have been adding deleting adding deleting there's so many things that i want to get so let me pull up my sephora cart so i'm going to talk about these in order because there's a lot that i want to get but it ranges from different categories so there's some fragrances there's some makeup products a lot of different things so first things first i'm going to talk about fragrances the first one is from skylar this is the fragrance called vanilla sky you guys i this is such a funny story so my sister loves fragrances as well and she like purchased something from sephora and got two samples one of them was this perfume now i didn't even smell it on my sister my niece literally sprayed the perfume on herself i was like hugging my niece and i was like wait you smell good like what you got on sis and my sister was like she she used one <laughs> she used one of my samples and it was skylar vanilla sky love the way it smelled on my niece but you guys know that fragrances are a weird like it's a weird product because although it smells nice with someone else it can smell totally different on you just because of your body chemistry so i did go to sephora if you haven't seen my last vlog that's where i um sniffed it in person and like tried it on myself love the way this smells i mentioned this before but i love gourmands so i love vanilla scented things and i do want to get to a place where i have a routine that's very layered and i have you know all the scents that i want like a vanilla scented body routine and this is like the perfect like vanilla scent so i cannot wait to add this to my collection another scent that i actually just tried today when i was at ulta for the 21 days of beauty the caroline herrera good girl blush now i mean i absolutely love the bottle the bottle is gorgeous it's like a shoe i'm gonna try to include like a look at the products over here but it's the good girl blush perfume i'm not the hugest fan of the good girl like the standard perfume but this blush one one it's pink it's in the shape of a shoe it smells so good the notes are it's actually a floral one but there are a notes of vanilla which i think is why i like it but it has mandarin vanilla it's a fresh floral explosion of femininity it's a fresh floral explosion this scent reveals the multifaceted nature of modern womanhood with a double dose of sensual vanilla and exotic yang yang i don't know what that means but yeah this smells so good i love the bottle i cannot wait to get this one and i am so excited about this fragrance so that wraps up my fragrances let's get into skincare so there are two products that i want to purchase the first one is the tatcha rice polish foaming enzyme powder i want to try this skincare product it is like an exfoliator i saw leah's face using it and it reminded me a lot well just like seeing her <laughs> use it it reminded me of the dermalogica daily microfolant so i want to try it out and see if it's different if it's better i'm running out of my dermalogica one so i'm like oh it's the perfect time to try something new so i'm excited about this one again i love exfoliators i love to do it like once a week the daily microfolant what i like about that is that it is you're able to use it a lot um more frequently compared to other exfoliators but this one i want to try i'm super excited next and i think this is the last like skincare product that i want to try is the new fenty skin melt off jelly oil makeup melting cleanser so this is like a pre-cleanse so how you take out your makeup if you want to you know better for the environment and not use as many like makeup wipes and you want to just double cleanse this is a great first step this is one that is available at sephora but i'm also wondering if i should get it from the fenty the fenty sale because it's something that i could get 25 percent off 
compared to 20% off. So I'm probably going to do that. I might get this one a little bit earlier. But this, y'all, I have seen reviews. A lot of people really like it. And Fenty Skin has been, I didn't like the actual like skincare products. But in terms of their body butter bomb, I loved their um, body butter. I love their soap, the bar soap. It's so good. What else do I like from Fenty Skin? I like the mask. So that's kind of skincare. But I really love their body butters and stuff like that. So I really want to try this. I've heard good reviews, so like why not? And I'm kind of almost running out of my pre-cleanse from Dermalogica, which is like oil. This one is more like a jelly. It's still oil-based, but it's jelly. So I kind of want to try this one since I'm running out of my Dermalogica. And I am just someone who likes to try new products. I am someone who's like, if it's not broken, don't fix it. But at the same time, I do want to try new products. So I'm thinking of picking that up. Since we're on Fenty, I'm going to round it out with other Fenty products that I want to try. I mean, I need to re-up on. Y'all, my Fenty matchstick, can y'all see this? It's gone, y'all. So this is another thing that I want to pick up. I think I am going to purchase from the Fenty fam, like friends and fam sale because it is 25% off. I should have got it when it was 30% off, but your girl fumbled the bag, okay? So I need to get that. I want to get a new truffle matchstick because this is my perfect like contour stick. I love just like, it's so easy, quick and easy. I love this. Like I mentioned, I want to try the jelly cleanser and another thing that I want to try is something that I saw on TikTok. They were raving about the Pro Kisser lip balms. There's two shades, Coco Drizzle and Pinch Me. Y'all, they look so good. I never tried them before, but they look so good on this girl. Actually, I don't want the Coco Drizzle anymore. I went to go see it in store and Pinch Me is more of my shade. I like more pinky nudes. Um, pinky nudes, like pinky glosses. So the Coco Drizzle, like the chocolate, it's not really doing it for me. It looks gorgeous on her though. Um, so that's all the Fenty products I want to get. Let's talk about more lip glosses. I really want to try the Tower 28 Beauty Non-Stick, the non-stick glosses. And there's two shades that I want to try. The first one is called Pistachio and the second one is called Oat. So I did go to Sephora to look at this one too. So I want to get the Oat and I want to get the Pistachio. Y'all, I've heard so many good things about this gloss. Actually, shout out to Nat G because she talked about this gloss all the time. She does like different lip combos. I think she loves almond or maybe cashew. It's one of the more chocolatey ones, but like I mentioned before, I'm more of a pink girl. So I'm so excited to try this. I am such a lip gloss girl. And one of my favorite lip glosses is from Fenty Beauty. It's the Taffy Tees, but it was in one of those, like one of their holiday um, batches. And I'm hoping that they come out with this shade in a full bottle, but I need to find something else because I am going to run out of this. And I'm going to be so sad. So yeah, I just wanted to try new glosses. Next is two new blushes. Now I always get questions on my blush and I, where is it? Girl, I don't know right now. What I use as my blush right now is the Juvia's Place. Super affordable. It's the pink volume four blush, but I am such a pink blush girl. I really want to try the one size cheek clapper 3D blush trio and attention seeker. It is a pink blush. It has like a cream one. It has a powder and then it has a highlighter. That's more of a pink, a pink shade to it. So I'm super excited about this. Really want to try it. I have I've never tried one sizes blushes so I'm excited to try and next I really want to try a house lab blush this is in the shade dragon fruit days it's a cool pink similar color shade but I really want to see if it has more pigment or things like that and I've heard so many good things about this house lab the blush so I really want to try this out next is let's talk about makeup by Mario I feel like makeup by Mario has been really blowing up on TikTok as of recently. First, I have heard great things about his foundation, which I really want to try. I haven't tried it yet, so I've been waiting for this sale. I just don't know what my shade is, so I'm definitely going to be going in store for this and like really testing it out and things like that. Another thing that I've heard really good things about is the plumping lip serum. Aaliyah's face uses this all the time for her like signature lip combo, so I really want to pick one of these up. And then he most recently came out with a plumping lip lip gloss and y'all have heard so many good things about this as well and I'm like trying to hold out because it just launched like I think this past week so I've been trying to hold out I hope I make it to the sale which is starts on April 14th for Rouge members you get 20% off and then it gradually opens up for the different tiers so VIB and then the insider so yeah I'm trying to I'm trying to wait it out but I'm so excited for this you guys I just love I love glosses like I'm so excited definitely want to see what this looks like in store and I cannot wait so I mentioned everything that I want to get from Sephora I do want to highlight two 
more products that I'm waiting for with the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. My Tarte Shape Tip Concealers, y'all. Everybody be dragging these down, but I still use them. I use the shade Medium Tan Golden and Deep, and I need to re-up. I'm like literally scraping the bottle but i am like trying to hold on till april 1st because that's when it's an online exclusive and i know i have to be up at like midnight or 3 a.m to get the shades because stuff sells out so fast online waiting to repurchase though yeah i think that's it so i hope that you all enjoyed this video like i mentioned the sephora savings event starts on april 14th super excited you guys let me know what you are thinking of picking up down in the comments let me know if you've purchased anything from the ulta 21 days of beauty if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and join the core crew family here on my lifestyle channel keeping up with court and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys